real excited because I'm here at the Cody Firearms Experience in Wyoming and I'm going to test out the Glock 19 Gen 5, see what all the fuss is about. Looking at a Glock 19 Gen 5, I wanted to do kind of a first impressions video because I just got it. I just came in, did my background check, I passed, yay. I'm going to take a look at this gun, talk a little bit about some of the features because there's over 20 features that are different in the new Gen 5 series of the Glock. In 2016, the Cody Firearms Museum opened an exhibition on Glock firearms. We were doing it in honor of the 30th anniversary in the United States. One of the things that people joked around about as we were planning the exhibit, and even after it opened, was that people say, you know, all Glocks look the same. They're black, they're polymer, you know, they've got the same general configuration, but there are a lot of different things. And so in order to prove that, I've got a G19 Gen 4 and a G19 Gen 5 to show you some of the physical traits that you can definitely see and notice. The, the most obvious one and the one that, that I understand got some of the greatest complaints was the finger grooves uh, on the grips of the G19 Gen 4. You'll notice that they are lacking in, in the G19 Gen 5. I have really small hands, so I was actually a, a fan uh, of the finger grooves, but it'll be interesting to take it out and see um, when I shoot it if I can really tell a difference. So the other thing that you can see, I'll turn it towards you, is that there's a flared mag well um, to facilitate easier uh, loading and reloading of your magazines. The magazines themselves are a little bit different. Uh, the one in this hand is a Gen 4 and this hand is a Gen 5. Notice is you've got your slide lock here, but when you flip the gun over, you'll notice that on the Gen 4, there is no slide lock on this side, so they've come up with a ambidextrous kind of component to the new Gen 5 Glock. The final thing that you might be able to see, Glock has a new finish on the Gen 5s. It's supposed to make it more durable. Um, and uh, hopefully, when we're doing our first impression shooting, we won't notice that uh, because it's something that should be wear and tear over time. These are some of the things that you can see right off the bat so that you can tell that the Glocks aren't exactly the same. So let's finally get out on the range and go shoot this gun. Oh, that is actually really nice. Are you filming that? Okay. All right, so we're here at the range and this is gonna be my first time firing the G19 Gen 5. Let's watch me embarrass myself. Let's go. my first time shooting the Glock 19 Gen 5 and I have to say it actually handled really well. Uh, I know that I said earlier that I liked finger grooves but you know what I really didn't notice them being gone here and I have to be honest it wasn't until I started loading till I really liked that it had an orange indicator on it. It was a real smooth gun to shoot. I definitely think this is going to be something that I'll come out to the range and practice on but probably still keep my G43 as my concealed carry gun.